to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Hannah, and today I have a unbagging or unboxing, well, really a just a small jewelry haul. Uh, I got it from my local consignment shop. So I picked up about, let's see, about 15 or so items. Um, I don't normally find a lot of jewelry at my consignment store think it doesn't sell really well and they kind of stockpile it and then put it all out at once so I have to kind of keep an eye out when they do and it's not very often <laughs> so I went at a good time um, I found a lot of vintage um, I don't believe I got any antique pieces, but yeah, we'll just go ahead and look in here. I really haven't examined these closely because they were, I'll show you, they're bagged up individually and they um, tape, tape it up so with the sticker, so I can't really open it and examine them. So I just kind of glanced and was like, okay, sure. Because I spent anywhere from 75 cent to two dollars um, so I went ahead and unbagged a few items this one I thought was so beautiful and I thought it was vintage it's some kind of stone and then this looks like a type of ab not abalone but uh, mother pearl you can tell it's not hand carved. It's very precise. I'm not really sure how they did that with it being shell, but it has a tag made in China. So I'll have to do some research into that, but it's really unique. Um, of course it's newer, but I thought it was beautiful. And then this, I took like two seconds and I was like, yes. Beautiful locket, Victorian Revival. Uh, I really wasn't sure what brand this was. And it's 1928 and it's on a barrel clasp. This is gorgeous. I. I don't know, I might keep it and wear it myself. Just really pretty. I think that's glass, but I love 1928 jewelry. Um, some pieces are more collectible than most of the other ones. I feel like this would be worth a decent amount. And I love selling brooches. I don't really wear them, but I thought this was unusual. It's that nugget or nougat chain, however you want to say it. You normally just find them um, as necklaces. And this is a ribbon or bow, and I thought that was so cool. So I'm going to say most of these pieces I'm going to sell um, that is, that is what I do for a living. And I also design jewelry. I just got a small shop. I started back um, making jewelry. So this, I'm not sure. It's also got that Victorian revival look to it. It's missing a few black rhinestones. Um, and these feel I think they're acrylic. They might be glass. But no markings. Uh, just the style of it, uh, I think, is really nice. I think it'll sell. I'm pretty sure I got some black rhinestones I can put in there. And I do have a video on how to repair and put rhinestones in or harvest some from other jewelry, broken jewelry. 
um, so you can repair some jewelry you have. I hope this isn't loud opening this. Now this is just, this seemed kind of cheap with the materials, but I love the look of it. It's like almost this amber look. Uh, of course, they're all acrylic. And you got these chunky beads. Here's the clasp. But I was like, oh, this is so um, ethnic and bohemian. Very much a statement necklace, and I thought someone would love to have this. Love the colors. Probably one of my favorite um, era of jewelry to sell are from like the 90s, 80s, that like chunky or bold gold tone jewelry. Now this, um, I'm trying to find the signature. I just came across one of these online. Um, I was looking at Liz Claiborne jewelry and I found one just like this, but this one's not marked. I'm not sure. I feel like someone added this chain and it's supposed to just have maybe a hook there. But I'm pretty sure this is Liz Claiborne and someone just um, added that chain. So I'll have to see about if I got a hook I can add to it and get a different chain extender. And well, you know, this might be an antique. I love cloisonne jewelry and I've never seen a bangle like this. A lot of good details on this. Those birds. Not sure, but we got some cute flowers. Okay. Not sure how to open this. I've never had a bangle like this. Oh, you just gotta pull it apart really hard. Like it was difficult. Um, so it's got this almost like a box clasp. I've never seen one like that. So I'm not sure how old this one is. Really pretty. And there were also, not sure why they did this, but like single earrings and they just put a price on it and bagged it. And I thought it was interesting. Like, why didn't they just put it with a bunch of other mismatched jewelry? But I still bought one because I really liked it. Um, this is just a pendant. I could probably, um, put it on a chain and sell it, or I'll probably like, upcycle a necklace and add a bunch of charms to it. I really need to do a video on that, plus that would help <laughs> help get me making more jewelry um, and show you how to make these um, charm, dangling charm type necklaces. Very easy to do. That one's missing a pearl. This I knew had to be either a Napier or something. Or a Trafari. They love to use these white beaded necklace uh, white beaded necklaces. Oh, what 
it's broken. I thought I saw that it was, um... ah, here we go. Here's the clasp. I thought it said Monet, but it, okay. That says Monet. Oh, Patton. Um. So, I think that link came apart. Maybe it's supposed to be that long? Anyways, I'll figure it out and uh, repair it. I definitely don't mind repairing jewelry. I think of it as saving, you know, from its demise, <laughs> landfill, who knows where. Oh, I love this chain. I think this is a wheat chain, the way they're woven together like this. This is very heavy, um, really nice. I don't see much wear, and it is signed Monet. Definitely someone would love to have that. I got quite a few bow brooches. Someone obviously loved, loved them, and I think they were all unsigned, but I might could lot them together. And sell them as, you know, a little themed lot. I thought that was cute. That one might be gold plated, maybe silver plated. How did they get this in this bag? <laughs> there we go. These brooches were 75 cents. This was cute, like more realistic looking. Pen is a little bent. Here we go. Oh, this one, I, oh, I was so excited. This one's probably my favorite. I love, love selling these. It's a West Germany filigree necklace with um, cording couple. This is on glass, I believe. And we got the AB rhinestones and we have these pearls here. And the thing about these, they're not always signed, but they are all constructed the same way. Um, this one's got a little bit of schmutz there. Um, and a lot of them will have this type chain. And some will be marked on the back but then most of the time they're marked on the clasp and a lot of people miss that. See it says Western Germany, made in down here, Western Germany. And these are so collectible right now, I'm not sure what's up with the trend but the ones with the banded glass um, art glass um, let's see there's hematite glass um, 
And then the, I think the Cameo ones are the most popular. And this one's not, not as much, but still, um, still someone would like to have that. I just love this. It's got the venturine, the copper color, and these cute roses. So I'm not sure that might be Czech glass. And it's Sarah Coventry. I so wish there was another earring. Would have totally kept those and worn those. Thought it was interesting, so I just grabbed it. Okay, it is a watch. Got this mesh band. And it says stainless steel back, Japan movement. Thought it was very nineties. Novell. I don't know. I'm don't know a whole lot about watches, but what I do is I lock them up. Um I guess people like to repair them or use them for parts to repair other ones or use the watch faces. I know a lot of people like to upcycle and use them in art. So that's what I'm going to do because I have a bunch that I'm wanting to sell. And this so cute. I am a collector, a fan of bezel set necklaces. Now this is just costume, cheaper materials. Um, all of this is acrylic. I don't think there's any glass. Um, but I still love the look and they are, they are also collectible. And I love the links. Oh, there's a missing bead there. I bet I could find one to replace. Put that there. So I don't believe this is signed. Here's the class. Oh. Really cool. Have to fix that one up. So yep, there we have it. That is my quick little consignment store haul. Um, I encourage you to check your local consignment store. I don't think a lot of people think to look there for jewelry, but um, I do find jewelry occasionally. And it's, you know, very convenient location for me to get to. And so, yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, subscribe and hit the like bu button. And also, you can click on the bell notification that will let you know whenever I have uploaded a new video. So, I appreciate you all. Thank you for all the support and all the comments on my recent videos. I really really appreciate it. It's very encouraging to want to keep putting out content for you guys. So thanks so much and I'll see you guys later.